generally lagos is the financial hub of nigeria everybody knows this if you want to make it commercially you're coming to lagos Everybody is essentially looking to go to um, the commercial hub to, you know, for a better standard of living, better jobs, um, better paying jobs. I moved to Ghana and I came back to Nigeria. Um, I just realized that there are more opportunities here in Lagos. I don't know if this city was built to be like this because with all of the people swarming in, it leads us to a nightmare traffic. You would agree with me, Lagos is known for its traffic. I think it's, it's now an international thing. We're known for our traffic and it's it, many times it can be a horrendous situation. You might spend two, three hours before you get to your location. Now this, this is very discouraging. It dawns on my creativity as a, as a, as a filmmaker. Traffic would would drive you mad. Sometimes I, I go to work super tired because I spent hours in traffic. Um, and you never get used to Lagos traffic. You never get used to it. So on, on, on a scale, as that, if we imagine that's how much we're losing, then it's a no-brainer. I mean, I mean, traffic is, is essentially one, if not the most um, pressing problem in Lagos. With Lagos traffic, that's the problem. It's not the distance that bothers me. It's the fact that when I think of how much time I will spend to be in a certain position for so long, that already starts to exhaust you mentally. And then on the physical aspect of it, for me personally, I, I find myself adjusting, reclining my seat more often than not. I'm like, but I, I've put this thing in the, in the best position possible that I always drive with. But it, I, I feel this, this discomfort deep down in my spine because I mean, I'm just seated. So sometimes you're slouching, sometimes you're trying to stretch and lean back, sometimes you're, you're at an angle, it's just... And then by the time you get to your destination, Believe me, you're, you're, you're actually tired. You're, you're literally tired. You, you spend that amount of time on the road, and when you get to work, you're meant to be productive. You're meant to be able to, um, you're meant to, to, to be productive. And you close and you go back on the road and you're on the road for hours. You get home late again. You have to, you have maybe three, four or five hours to sleep and you're, you're awake the next morning. So it's just very, it's just, it's just, counterproductive. If you look at it logically, we have a fixed amount of roads currently and we have an increasing amount of vehicles. Right now, it's even more worsened for youth, particularly people like me that stay on the mainland coming to the airline too, because a lot of our productive hours has been wasted. For example, today, just leaving house 30 minutes earlier than the time I leave house, cost me two hours more than the average time I use. So I think this just has a lot to play on our productive hours, and it's not really helping negotiations. We're always from Yanukwaja to Ikoi, coming from work every day, facing traffic from in the morning, I will left out from 4 o'clock, but before we get to VI, we'll be two hours around 8, facing traffic, going back, before we reach out, I will feel weak and tired. Getting home, going back to my family and everything, I'll be so stressed. For me to wake up early in the mo early morning again, coming back, I think the government needs to do something about this road. Even the road up, everything. I don't know. I'm so tired. It's, it actually makes me tired, personally. Because I don't have a help at home and I have to do my business and by the time I'm going back home picking up my children in the traffic again I have to go home and get them ready for the next day make dinner for the family it's always very tiring you feel more fatigued on the road than even doing your business 
Je suis un peu plus de 